Hi, my name is Osamu Yero and welcome to my channel and we're going to be looking at the different news that have happened during the week. The first news is about Deloitte and guys, something is happening in AI so let's check a look. Deloitte repays Albanese government after using AI in $440,000 report. Global consulting giant Deloitte is refunding part of a $440,000 payment to the Albanese government after admitting that generative AI was used in producing an official review for the Department of Employment and Workplace Relations. The report intended to analyze Australia's job seekers compliance system was found to include serious factual and citation errors. After public criticism and a review, Deloitte confirmed they would return money to the government and correct the report's Labour Senator Deborah O'Neill called the refund a partial apology for a substandard work, warning that the case highlights growing risks around the use of AI in government and consulting. Deloitte maintains the report's main findings remain valid, but the incident has reignited debates over transparency, accountability, and trust in AI-assisted policy work. All right, now we've heard about the news, but what really happened? Why did this occur? And how can you prevent it in your business? Um, so basically what happened was they used an AI system that is being trained on a specific set of data. And now, when an AI system is being trained on data, it is trained on specific data, right? And because it's trained on the specific data, it cannot re-update itself with new data. Either the only way that an AI system can do that is if it has been retrained or there's a RAG system integrated with it. And if you don't know what that means, that means retrieval augmented generation, basically getting data from somewhere else to be able to send back your data. Now, what happened here? The AI just simply hallucinated. Hallucination is a process where your AI system manufactures false data because it does not have the required data for you. Now, next time that you decide to send a message to ChatGPT or use it to do your report, remember the AI is not perfect and it's still a growing field. I think we should be able to always go through and read it again and cross-check when it gives you facts because AI systems are not perfect and you should be able to check them out yourself and do your research yourself. I think this is just lazy and research work to be fair. You know what, stay tuned for the next video and I hope you guys enjoy. See you next time.